Norman Finkelstein, in his book Gaza, An Inquest into Its Martyrdom, offers a critical analysis of media coverage of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, particularly with regard to events in Gaza. He argues that mainstream media, in his view, often fails to provide an accurate and balanced portrayal of the conflict, and he raises several key points in this regard. Selective reporting, Finkelstein contends that media outlets often engage in selective reporting emphasizing certain aspects of the conflict while downplaying or ignoring others. He suggests that this selectivity can skew public perception and understanding of the situation. Bias and framing, Finkelstein argues that there is a perceived bias in favor of Israel in much of the Western media. He claims that this bias manifests in the framing of news stories, with a tendency to present Israeli actions in a more sympathetic or justifiable light, while portraying Palestinian actions as aggressive or unjust. Victim-perpetrator dynamics, Finkelstein highlights what he sees as an imbalance in how the media portrays the victim-perpetrator dynamics in the conflict. He contends that media often portrays Israel as the victim or as acting in self-defense, while Palestinians, particularly in Gaza, are portrayed as aggressors or terrorists. Humanization and dehumanization, Finkelstein suggests that media coverage can lead to the humanization of Israelis and the dehumanization of Palestinians. He argues that this can make it easier for the public to accept or justify Israeli actions, including those that result in civilian casualties. Use of terminology, Finkelstein also addresses the language and terminology used in media reporting. He criticizes the use of terms like clashes or conflict when referring to events in Gaza, suggesting that they can obscure the power imbalance between the well-equipped Israeli military and the Palestinian population in Gaza. Challenges to dissenting voices, Finkelstein points out that media can sometimes marginalize or dismiss dissenting voices, including those critical of Israeli policy or advocating for Palestinian rights. He argues that this limits the diversity of perspectives available to the public. In summary, Finkelstein's critique of media coverage of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict centers on the perception of bias, selective reporting, and framing that he believes can contribute to a skewed understanding of the situation. While his views are not without controversy and have been criticized by those who support Israel's actions, they reflect a perspective often shared by others who argue for a more critical examination of media coverage and its impact on public perception of the conflict. Media coverage of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is indeed a complex and contentious issue, with diverse viewpoints and interpretations.